one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, magnify his name. Hallelujah. I bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I adore you, Lord. Hallelujah. I greet you, Lord, Holy Spirit, in this place. And this place is in the chapel of our hearts, God. Hallelujah, Lord God. I will bless the Lord God with everything in me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you have breath this morning, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you come to give God glory, hallelujah. That is our agenda today. Hallelujah. To lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 In this atmosphere. Hallelujah, Lord God. Come on, magnify the Lord. Bigger than the government, hallelujah. Bigger than the state, hallelujah. Bigger than, hallelujah, he is bigger than death because he conquered death. Hallelujah, Lord God, we bless you. Hallelujah, God, you loved us so much, you put on a body. Hallelujah, because you love me, God, you put on a body to redeem me back to you. And that is worth giving God glory for. That's worth praising his name, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you can think of one thing to give God glory for, say hallelujah this morning. Say hallelujah in this space. If you can think of one thing, hallelujah. 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 There are so many things he's done for us that we can't even count them all. We can't count them all. We cannot count the number of blessings. Hallelujah. We can't count them all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, bless God again this morning. Hallelujah. Give God glory in the space. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to start with prayer this morning. And Elder uh, Diamond, ask you to come pray since you'll be a part of the praise uh, ministry. Anyway, come and pray. Uh, we want to put prayer in the atmosphere. I realize that your son is undergoing a surgery and your mother is in the hospital as your brother told us mm. so you were going through this morning so you know what it feels like and what it feels like to pray amen so we're going to ask you just to lead us in prayer this morning we're going to ask everybody to stand at your your place wherever you are you stand and right now if you have a special prayer i want you to call it out in the atmosphere this morning come on call it out in the atmosphere there's persons Hallelujah. You call that out in this atmosphere. Hallelujah, God. The Jacksons, the Stanfields, the Dolphins, God. Hallelujah, Stonewall, oh God. Hallelujah, all my cousins, God. All my children, God. All my grandchildren, God. Hallelujah. A Neil Kumar, God. And his family, Lord. Bless, Lord God. God bless how to heal. Oh God, we come to thee, as long as we know how. Oh God, we thank you, God, for who you are in our lives, Father. Oh God, we thank you, God, for life, death, and strength. Yes. Oh God, we thank you, God, for this being good to us, Father God. Yes. Oh God, we thank you, God, for this, how you took my son through his operation, yes. God. Oh God. Oh God, you brought him out safely, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you, God, for this touching bodies on today, God. Yes. Healing and setting free, God. Yes. Open blinded eyes, oh God. Yes. Oh God, we ask you, God, to have your way to all today, Father. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, God, for this. Being here one more time, God. Yes. Oh, God, close in our right minds. Something will hurt, harm, or danger to come upon us, Father God. Yes. Oh, God, bless the one who's going to speak your word on today, Father yes. God. Oh, God, let them down on the wheel of wisdom and bring them up with understanding, Father God. Oh, God, we thank you, God, for this. Thank you, you, for this being here. Mm. Oh, God, for this, for everything you have done, God. Yes, God. Oh, God, you said in your word, in all things give thanks, Father. Yes, God. Oh, God, we've been in do it for a night with joy cometh in the morning. Yes, God. Oh, God, continue to keep our hearts, oh, God, and our minds stayed on you, Father God. Yes. Oh, God, we realize we live in these last and evil days, God. Oh, God, we ask and need God to be with us, oh, God. Oh, yes. God, continue to take us through every trial and test that comes our way, Father God. Oh, God, if there's anyone here today, God, is in their bodies, oh God. Oh God, we ask you to touch and heal, oh God. Oh God, you said in your word that I am the Lord thy God, the King of thee, God. Oh God, we, we thank you, God, for your healing power, God. Oh God, we thank you, God, for your deliverance, Father God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, have your way unto God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I want them, God, this service, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, have your way in our lives, Father God. Keep us in a ready state, God. Oh God, we want to hear you say, well done, that good and faithful servant. Oh God, have your way in our lives, 
Father God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, we pray for the nine men and women, boys and girls that come out of darkness into your marvelous light, God. Oh God, save, oh God. Set free, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for saving somebody, God, as near as hell's doors, even now, Father. Oh God, let them cry out to you, God. Oh God, before it's ever listen too late, God. Oh God, we ask the need, God, to have your way today, God. In the name of Jesus. Everything going down with the word of God. Oh God, your word is going to stand for standing these last and even days. Oh God, we bless we pray for the pastor in this for today, God. Yeah, God. Oh God, in a special way, God. Yeah. Keep her in the center of the will, oh God. Yeah. Oh God, we pray for the bereaved families everywhere. Pour yeah. in there, God. In the name of yeah. Jesus, Lord God. Oh God, come with their hearts and their spirit, Father God. Yeah. Oh God, there's nothing too hard for you to do, God. Oh God, have your way today, God, in Jesus' mighty name. Oh God, now let the words of our mouth, the meditations of our hearts, be acceptable in my sight. O oh Lord, I strengthen our Redeemer. This is our prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. And God teaches how to pray as you taught your disciples how to pray by saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and to give us our trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. Let the church neighbor and tell them you're glad to see them this morning. Hallelujah. You're glad to see them. Hallelujah. You're glad to see them this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I also ask the church family, you remember Anil Kumar who the young Indian man that joined the church with us, who fellowship with us, that we went to travel to Indian, Indian with. He uh, called me, uh, it was uh, Thursday morning. He lost his mother, and his father's at the hospital. So just continue to pray, because he's in this country alone. He has no family, he has no one that can come visit. So when I called him, he was so grateful, he was weeping. And I just told my husband, when time permits, I'm going to ask him to come visit us. Mm -hmm. And when we were in India, it makes sense. His mother told my husband and I, you will be his parents. Mm -hmm. And now we understand what that meant. Mm -hmm. We will be his parents. So yes. just keep him lifted up as well. Amen. 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 And all families everywhere, you know. We're going through so much, and we don't yes. understand that, but... I understand losing a mother. Now I understand losing a mother again. So it's Jesus Christ himself came to earth through yes. that vessel. He didn't bypass that vessel of a woman. He didn't bypass that vessel of a woman, of a mother. So continue to lift all the families up. Continue to lift Jackson's up and every bereaved family in, in this space. I've often said, and I've even told Minister Dodd this morning, it's a journey we all have to take. Mm -hmm. And we can't have a transfer. We can't say this is not the seat I want to travel on. We can't redeem it. He has to redeem it. We can't say I don't want to go now. Give me. When it's our time to redeem my ticket, we have to redeem that ticket. Amen. So put your hands together because God knows us. Fellowship together, amen. Anybody expecting some great things amen. to come your way? We got to expect it, right? Yes. If we don't expect it, who will, right? Amen. We are the church. We should definitely be expecting amen. great things. Great day. 
was recorded by the Apostle Matthew. And Matthew tells us about the supper of the Lord. And we look into this 26th chapter. And we find these words recorded there. in chapter 26, beginning at 26. And as they were eating, Yeshua took bread, blessed and broke it, gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup, and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, drink from it, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. But I say to you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said, to them. All of you will be made to stumble because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I have been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. 
This is the word of God for the children of God. Thank you, God. God bless you today. Lord, we bow our heads in humble submission with our hearts heavy with the burden of this sacrament that we are about to share. Lord, this week we have in many ways failed you. This week, in many ways, we have let you down. Mm -hmm. In so many ways, Lord, we know we have disappointed you. Mm -hmm. But we ask on this communion Sunday that you would forgive us. Yes, that you would wipe our slate clean. That you would take mm -hmm. all of the transgression, iniquity, and sin off of our plate right now. Lord, we want to walk worthy. And we want to make you smile. So Lord, please forgive us right now for the sins of omission and commission. Forgive us right now for the things we did knowingly and unknowingly. Forgive us right now for when we could have, should have, and would have and didn't. Forgive us right now for angry words, for hostile looks, for nasty attitudes, for self-pity and self-righteousness. Forgive us right now for things we said to folks and things we could have said and didn't. Lord, forgive us right now for holding grudges, for being angry, for holding on to disappointment and frustration and even holding on to self-pity. Help us to let it go. Help us, Lord, to start crucifying ourselves over and over again. Help us, Lord, to even forgive ourselves. Amen. For we want to be worthy of this cup. We want to be worthy of this bread. Yes. Yes. But of all, we want to be worthy of heaven one day. Yes. But we realize, Lord, that this is just dress rehearsal. We realize, Lord, that we're just in the getting ready room now. Help us, Lord. Oh, Jesus, help us. Holy Spirit, help us. Help us to be ready for that great and awful day that we know will come in our own lives. We have come to the realization that our mortality will one day meet our immortality. And we'll have to stand before you and we hope that you will look at our record and say, well done, good and faithful servant. For your body and for your blood, we humbly say thank you. Thank you. And we ask you, Lord, that you would purge us with his and that you would cleanse us, give us pure heart and clean hands that we can come before you and sup with you at the table. For it is through Christ our Savior we pray with thanksgiving. The church said amen. Amen. My friends, let us share together today in that which renews our contract, that which reconfirms our commitment and our dedication to the kingdom and to his principles by sharing in our affirmation. You'll find these words on the screen. And if you believe this, please share with me today. I believe in God, the maker of heaven and earth, the ruler and preserver of my life. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, my Lord and Savior. I believe in the Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is the giver of life. I believe in the Holy Bible, the universal church, holy baptism, and the Lord's Supper. I believe in myself as a child of God. I believe that God is to be honored by the first fruits of my time, talents, and substance. Therefore, I commit to him 
for the work of his church, my life, my tithes, and my offerings. I believe in the resurrection of the dead and life in the world to come. Amen. 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 You may be seated. away my sin nothing but the blood of Jesus what can make me whole again nothing but the blood of Jesus oh precious is the flow
Welcome to Communion Sunday at Citadel of Faith, ladies and gentlemen. This is your church administrator, Sean Bolton, and these are your announcements for Sunday, May 2nd through Saturday, May 8th, 2021. Our theme for 2021 is No More Business as Usual, taken from Luke chapter 10, verses 30 through 37. Our heartfelt condolences to Bishop Jackson, Dr. Pamela Jackson, and Deacon Sheila Gorm and the loss of Mother Perlina Mage Jackson. Homegoing service will be Tuesday, May 4th at 11 o'clock a.m. at First Calvary Baptist Church, 432 South Long Street, Salisbury. Please let us continue to support the Jackson family and keep them in prayer during this time of bereavement. United Cornerstone University announces its spring quarter 2021 beginning Saturday, May 8th through July 2nd. All classes are held virtually via Zoom. The following courses will be offered. Women Preachers in the 21st Century Pulpit, Old Testament Parables, New Testament Theology, Leadership for the 21st Century, and Ordination 200. Please visit UCU's website at www.ucuedu.com for more class details and to complete your registration. Midweek worship service this Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m. Elder Joyce Lucky is the preacher. We hope you will tune in to Facebook Live at Citadel Faith, to our website at www.citadelfaith.net to our live stream, or join in via phone to hear the message by calling 712-770-5505. The access code is 548-514, followed by the pound sign. Technology is allowing us to stay engaged as a church family, so let's utilize what we have to stay connected. Join us for Open Door Prayer Ministry every Wednesday at 6 o'clock a.m led by Elder Christine Michael. The call-in number is 712-770-5505. The access code is 548-514, followed by the pound sign. Don't forget, the church that prays together stays together. We have provided several methods to pay your tithes and offerings on Sundays and Wednesdays via PayPal, Cash App, or just call the office and the transaction can be completed over the phone. Our prayer focus for the week is Deacon Sheila Gore and Monica Jackson. Let's extend our hands to them and say, My sisters, My sisters we are praying for you, we are praying for you this, week, this week and always, and always in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our scripture reading for the week is Acts chapter 8 and John chapter 15. Please remember to submit all announcements in writing via email to sean.bolton at gmail.com by Thursday at 5 o'clock p.m. in order to be presented during Sunday services and rebroadcast all week long on our website at www.citadelfaith.net. Now we would like to recognize and say happy birthday to our May babies, Javon Wayden, May 10th, Monica Jackson, May 12th, Brittany Summers, May 27th, Michael Jackson, May 23rd. Citadel Works, congratulate our May birthday. Now, on behalf of Bishop Jackson and Superintendent Dr. Pamela S. Jackson, I would like to welcome all of our wonderful visiting friends to our beautiful facilities, headquarters of Citadel Ministries International, the Martin Luther King Social Action Committee, United Cornerstone University, Ebony Alpha Ebony Service Organization, and Citadel of Faith Christian Fellowship. Thank you for sharing with us in worship and consider yourself one of the family whenever you cross our threshold. Grace and peace multiplied.
Good morning. So happy to see you today. I've got a question for you. Have you had the COVID-19 vaccination yet? It's available all over the country in a pharmacy or a health department or a public service agency near you. I urge you today to get your first and second shot if you haven't done so already. And if you have, congratulations. You're protected. And if you haven't, what are you waiting on? The science is there. The medicine is there. And the wisdom, knowledge, and know-how that only comes from God has been administered to scientists and doctors to help us get better soon. I'm looking forward to those hugs from my grandchildren and my children, my family and friends, and my congregation. I hope you are too. So what are you waiting for? Get the shot. Sometimes just sitting and reading the word gives you comfort. And then asking God to show you exactly what that word means for that particular situation. In the month of May here at Citadel, we celebrate Women's Month. And I thank God that we have a pastor, a bishop, who honors the call of women. I getting prepared for a class that's going to be offered this session, and I'm still finding out in 2021 that there's still pulpits that do not embrace us to even stand in. But how many know it's not about the podium, it's not about the pulpit, it's about the calling. Yeah. Yeah. We could do that in our homes, we could do it at the grocery store, we can do it on our jobs if it's okay. I've done it on mine, even though you're not supposed to. You can do it in the community because if God calls you, who do we have to answer to, man or God? Amen. We have to answer to God. Amen. So I thank God that he's given us a pastor who has opened up that platform for us to have a place that we can be a witness. I'm honored to uh, announce our preacher for this morning who continues to study to show herself approved a workman need not be ashamed, but can rightly divide the word of truth. I can stand before you today and say that she has completed her doctoral study here at United Cornerstone University. Hallelujah. She has actually completed her oral defense, and it was also approved. So technically, I can say she is doctor, doctor. Come on. Even though she will be confirmed in August. So the next voice that you would hear will be the next candidate for United Cornerstone University, who so will be conferred in October is none el other than our own Elder Tomoji. My husband would say Elder Tomoji Tisha Jackson. Come on, put your hands together for that. Our scripture lesson for this first Sunday in May, 2021, will be taken from Luke chapter 1, verses 39 through 46, the New International Version. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women! And blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my room leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that what the Lord has said to her will be accomplished. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. 
Please stand to your feet to receive to the Holy Desk to deliver our Communion Sunday message entitled, When God's Girls Get Together. Citadel Ministries International's National Evangelist, Elder Timothy Jackson. that we have a pastor who recognizes that it's not him who calls us, but it's God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. And he, he, only God can Amen. call us. Amen. 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 And so I am thankful to be here today as I look out among you. I have some friends who showed up this morning, and I just want to say thank you. I want to thank you to Ms. Albright, my co-worker who's been here before and I also want to say thank you to Miss Deborah Bambi. This is Deacon Bambi's mother who is joining us on this morning. Amen. So it is good. Yes. Absolutely. And so we're going to go into the scripture together. Heavenly Father, I just say thank you right now. Thank you for just being God all by yourself, Father God. God, make me a vessel from which living waters flow. Father God, none of me and all of you, and let it fall on hearts, Father God, that are fertile and ready to receive what thus saith the Lord. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. 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 And so we're going to go into the scripture today and find out what happens when God's girls get together, all right? Amen. 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 So I'm going to talk to you about two cousins, uh -huh. Mary and Elizabeth. So, you know, sometimes your cousin is your first BFF, right? right. Your cousin is your first uh -huh. best friend. Uh -huh. That's who you grow up with. That's who you have sleepovers yes. with. Your cousin uh -huh. is oftentimes your first best friend. And so we're going to look at these two cousins. So we have Elizabeth, who's much older than Mary, okay? She is, she is married to Zachariah, the priest, and they're a childless, and not by choice. See, we live here today, and this concept of going child-free has become more and more popular, amen? But in that culture, being child-free wasn't what we see it as today. Amen. So when we think of this child-free today, women are not having babies for several reasons. Mm -hmm. One of them is that they just don't want kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some say they lack a mate and want to wait until they have a mate to have children. And we know that among women of color, specifically black women, there is an epidemic of black women being single into and beyond their child-bearing years, right. right? So this is science. This is not my opinion. Amen. Some people have flat out said they're selfish. I don't want to share my time, my money. I don't want to worry about another life. So they choose to be child-free. There are some women who are so career-minded that they say, I'm not having a child because I won't be there. Right. I work 40, 60, 80 hours a week. Mm -hmm. This was a very interesting fact to me that some women don't want to have children because of testimonies from parents who regret <laughs> having children. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. And so when we look at the top 10, Voluntary childless statistics for 2021. 17% of Caucasian women are childless by choice, according to Pew. Mm -hmm. When we look at Rudders, childlessness statistics reveal that 22% of childless women have at least a master's degree. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what percentage of American women do you think are childless. Believe it or not, a staggering 57% of American households of child-bearing age are currently childless. 
But today we're going to discuss two women. One who wanted to have a child mm -hmm. and the other one found out she was going to. Amen? Amen. <laughs> See, because a woman during this time, if she didn't have children, she was considered barren, mm -hmm. right? right? But it was even further than that. A barren woman in the Bible was considered broken. Uh -huh. She was considered incomplete. Uh -huh. She was considered cursed or possibly just so much of a sinner that her womb could not conceive. Uh -huh. So when this particular function of your femininity was not working, was not working properly in the Bible times, you were considered a failure. Okay? Elizabeth and her husband wanted desperately to have a child. Mm -hmm. Okay? So was Elizabeth a sinner? Was her husband the priest a sinner? No, the scripture tells us very clearly that both of them was, were righteous and blameless before God. Mm -hmm. But they were childless. Now listen to this carefully because Elizabeth wasn't able to Hmm. I want to park there for a minute. Now, I know Luke was a doctor, amen, but if I could just use my sanctified curiosity for just a moment, I want to ask, was the technology there, the test there, to know that it was her who was broken and not him who was broken? Because he had no other children. Unlike Abraham, you know, he got his, 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 his uh, maiden pregnant, so we knew he was working when Sarah couldn't conceive, right? But we don't know that here. But yet and still, the blame is on the mother, right? So when we look at that, isn't this something how in society, if something's wrong in the house, who do they look at? They look at the mama, right? If dinner is it's because mama didn't cook it. Well, Amen. If the kids' homework didn't get done, it's because mama didn't sit down and help them get the homework done. And if the house ain't clean, God forbid, it is the woman's fault that the house is not clean. So yes, ladies, society holds us at a different standard right. than they do men. They did it then, yeah. and they still do it now. Uh -huh. But now, can I talk to my girlfriends this morning? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we're not producing, and that's not just children, by the way, uh -huh. don't we feel some type of way that's when right. we're not producing something, mm -hmm. when we're not producing opportunities, uh -huh. right? When we're not producing promotions, degrees, when we're not producing in our gardens, when we're not producing somewhere, we like to produce because why? When you give a woman a little bit, she's going to give you back a lot. Amen? Yeah. We are God's incubators. Wow. Christ chose to come through a woman's womb. Yes. We are his incubators. Yeah. Okay? Uh -huh. So we can finish this phrase Ladies, if I say this to you, fill it in for me. Behind every great man, there's a woman. Oh, okay. We know this, right? But we also know behind other great women is another great woman. See, I didn't even have the practice. <laughs> but they knew what to fill in the blank. Right. Okay? So the angel Gabriel. He visits Zechariah yeah. while he is on his temple duties, lighting the burnt incense, okay? okay? And so he tells him, your wife is going to have a son. And not just any son, I mean a great son, a son yeah. who loves the Lord, yeah. a son who's going to lead people to God. I mean, he's going to be full of the Holy Spirit, uh -huh. even in his mother's womb. You're going to have a son. The priest, mm -hmm. the man of God, yes. the older gentleman who too is old like his wife. Mm -hmm. You know what he says? He says, wait a minute now. Listen, I need to know how you, I mean, how is that even possible? How is that going? I mean, huh? You should, I mean, and so the angel. 
upset with him mm -hmm. for not believing, Come on. Right. right? For not having the faith that he makes him mute mm -hmm. until the day his son is born. Amen. Right. Right. So I want to say this to you today and just pause momentarily. If you've been asking God for something, you've been praying about something, yeah. and you all of a sudden feel that you haven't been talking about it lately, it's not been on your mind again lately, and you feel like you just can't even talk about it anymore because it's been so long since you prayed that prayer. It's right. been so long since you've been carrying that desire. Right. I'm here to tell you and remind you what's been preached to us for the last couple Sundays. Yeah. Wait on the Lord. And while you wait, mm -hmm. you stay committed to your word. Yeah. You stay focused on serving him. Amen. Amen. Amen? Because you just might be on the cusp of your breakthrough. Amen. You just might be on the cusp of your miracle. Yeah. And so continue to wait on God. Amen. Amen. So, Zechariah goes home. And guess what happens shortly thereafter? He can't talk, but Elizabeth concedes. So guess what? Action. Speak, loud. Speak louder than words. <laughs> Amen. So then she goes into a five-month seclusion, and that in and of itself is a whole uh, 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 sermon by itself. So we're going to keep going. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel to Nazareth. Mm -hmm. You know that place where they ask, can anything good come from Nazareth? Uh -huh. That Nazareth. Yeah. To a virgin who was pledged to be married to a, uh -huh. name, to a man named Joseph. Right. That virgin we know was Mary. Yeah. The angel went there to her and this is what he said. Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Say that. Mm. Thank you. Don't be afraid because God is with you. You found favor with God. You will become pregnant with a son and he will be called Jesus. Thank you. So Mary, mm -hmm. this young woman, possibly as young as 13 or 14. Mm -hmm. She was an unwed, mm -hmm. although betrothed, right. teen virgin. Mm -hmm. oh. And she was at the risk of being stoned to death yes. if she were found pregnant before marriage. Right. Okay? So the same angel that came to Zechariah now is speaking to Mary. Mm -hmm. Now, the difference between the two responses is this. Zachariah asked if it was possible. Right. Mary asked how right. was it possible right. because Mary knew right. that she was a virgin. Right. Mm. There is nothing too hard for God. Right. Amen.
But your answer, she says this. I am the Lord's servant. May your word in me, literally, be fulfilled. Thank you, Lord.
done this for me. In these days, he has shown his favor and taken away my disgrace among the people. Both women knew the source of their gift was God. So when God's girls get together, you're visited by the same spirit. Yeah. Because if you don't have the same spirit of another person, mm -hmm. why do you really want to be around them? Oh, Amen. 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 If you have a spirit of growth and they have a spirit of failure, you don't want to hang out there. Mm -hmm. But both of these women were visited by the same spirit, a spirit of growth, a spirit of love. Amen. A spirit of opportunity and a spirit of favor. Thank you, Jesus. You want strong friends around you because the conversation is different at the women's church. Amen? It's very, very different, okay? We need friends. The word says that if you have a friend and you fall down, the other one can help pick you up. Amen? The word says that if you have a friend and you are cold, that the other can help keep you warm.
speak to Mary and to speak to her gift and not so quick to not let Mary have her 15 minutes. Yeah. Amen. That's good. See, when God's girls get together, yeah. Yeah. there is only inspiration uh -huh. and celebration. Yeah. Amen. Amen. See, your girlfriend, mm -hmm. your good girlfriend, yeah. your God girlfriend, uh -huh. she can see your gift. Yeah. Amen. She can see when God's favor is all over you. Uh -huh. And your good girlfriend do what these women did. They begin to prophesy all over you. And then begin to call it out in you.
work our class, our staff, our friends. Come on, let's celebrate the Lord that got here. I found my blessing in the word of God. Come on, you found your blessing. Go a little while. Just let go and let God and just praise him. And give him glory. Give him honor. Help me make a joyful noise unto the Lord all the time. Hallelujah. We thank God for the message. And we thank God for the messenger. Did our hearts burn within us today? As the woman of God did it up with the word of God. I'm always happy about the word of God. Anybody here happy about the word of God? I want you to know today that we are blessed. Blessed by the word of God. And we're blessed when God uses earthen vessels to deliver heavenly messages to us today. Amen. That's why we gather. I don't know about you, but I come to church to get a blessing. Now, I know I can get blessings other places. But when I come to church, I get the holistic blessing. Well, well. I get the blessing from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. And my cup even runs over. So we thank God today for what we have heard. That's what's standing for today. Amen. There was one today who does not know the Lord Jesus, the free part of your personal sins. If there's one today who has not surrendered your life to the only one who can save your life. There's one today who's looking for a church home, needs a place to pitch their tent well, and sit in covenant with brothers and sisters. We invite you today to step out on faith, give God your heart, and give this pastor your hand. There's one today. If the whole house is saved, the whole house has been recovered, then let's give the Lord a shout for hallelujah. Recovery, hallelujah. Restoration, hallelujah. Celebration, hallelujah, inspiration, impartation. I'm not all I ought to be, but I thank God I'm not what I used to be. I'm not where I want to be, but thank God I'm headed in the right direction. I'm not as strong as I ought to be, but thank God He's building me up on every lean and say, anybody here feel that, that that push that build up on every lean and sign? And it was not you, it wasn't your exercise regimen. It was the Holy Spirit yeah, yeah, yeah. building us up yes. to a time like this. We're in a crisis time. Yes. We are in a crisis time. But we serve Christ <laughs> in a crisis time. That ought to give you some joy right yeah. there. In a crisis time, I still serve Christ. Yeah. God bless you as you're seated. We're going to, at this time, proceed. Thank God for that message. Amen. 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 God serves sure it together. Uh -huh. Amen. And, 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 you know, from the male aspect, uh, when I see a group of women uh, in conversation, in fellowship, I move on out the way. I go on in another room. You know. My wife and her girlfriends get together. I go on somewhere and go in the man room. Because, you know, don't get, in, don't get in that. That ain't for you. Wait till they finish and they tell you about it. A nosy man I hang around. That's when I get his feelings in. You can go on somewhere. Sit down. They'll call you when it's over. But thank God for the word. Let's prepare to give. Give and it shall be given unto you. Well, Pastor, how is that going to happen? Because it's going to come through good venture. It's going to be pressed down. Shaken together. And then it's going to run over. And men are going to pour into your bosom. Because the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. And our blessings come through our obedience. So if you need an envelope, please raise your hand. On this first Sunday of the month, we want you to be generous givers. We want you to be a tither. We want you to go beyond the tithe into the offering. We want you to think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for you. I'm not going to beg you to do what you ought to do because you know in your heart 
If it had, was not for the Lord on your side, your soul would have dwelt that side. We are.